All right, y'all, welcome back to State of the Franchise Gaming, and today I'm bringing y'all a MLB The Show science video. Now, this isn't in the same vein as uh, someone like RBT, how he does with Madden, which he puts out great stuff, but I want to understand, does the AI recognize talent before them? Um, the simple thing, the simple reason why I'm doing this is because we see in the game, in franchise, they won't sign free agents when they have a bunch of injuries. They won't. They may not call guys up until way later in their career. Guys that are on the major league roster, they may get sent down for we can't really tell why, no reason. But uh, the way I plan on doing this is I'm going to start off with a uh, zero overall, one overall roster. All Joe Randoms with the exception of one player that I put in the roster, which is technically myself. Um, it's not really myself. It's not the same age as me. Not even close. I would be regressing at this point. Um, but yeah, I just, and in this roster, as a matter of fact, I'm just going to show you. Um, as we see before us again, every team, one overall with the exception of me. I will lower myself down in just a moment, but every team has a 25-year-old Joe Random. Everybody's potential is B at an 80 because I put it that way and every team has a, a bunch of Joe Randoms at every position one at least one at every level and you know some in a ball things of that nature the free agency pool though has viable players that any of these teams can sign now I will I want to say I'm going to focus on one team because I'm on it but I'm going to focus, you know, we're going to look at what the Red Sox do because I'm, I happen to just put myself on there. Um, and we'll look every year to see um, how they do in the draft, how many guys they actually signed from the draft, how many guys retire, uh, how that correlates to um, the players that are coming into the league as opposed to leaving. And it's going to be a 10-year sim. I'll show you guys basically every year after the offseason. I do have a graph, or not graph, I have a spreadsheet, which as you can see right here, there are the bottom portion going all the way out to 2030. So at the end of the 2030 season, as we go into the 2031 offseason, that's when you will, you know, see really every year after every year, I will show you each of these so that we get a better idea of again whether the ai even knows what the hell it's doing because again there are now i didn't count how many players are on here but there's i'm gonna give it a rough maybe like 60 70 players that are on this roster i think they go all the way down to about 45 overall nope take that back 39 overall even keith giordano should be on somebody's roster i know those numbers don't really correlate the a player that should be anywhere near the major leagues, but given this situation, given the circumstances I have placed before each and every team, the CPU will have control over all roster moves, the CPU will have control over the draft, the CPU will have control over contracts. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching any of it. I'm just gonna you know, get the numbers, put it on these sheets, show it to y'all as we go year by year, and we'll go from there. All right, here are the numbers before you. Let me see. On this left-hand side, you see the teams, how many picks they had. I will leave a link to this Google Doc in the description or probably in the pinned comment just so y'all can look at it on your own. Um, but as you can see, uh, let's see. The overwhelming majority of teams did sign most, if not all, of the players that they had uh, drafted, leading to a total of 82.5% of those draftees were actually kept or actually were signed they got a contract you know the other 17 and a half percent they didn't get a contract and you know yeah i understand it happens sometimes in real life uh, but given the amount of joe random players in this league which i have further calculated to be in uh, what was it 2640 2640 joe randoms were still on rosters at the end of the off season that is because nobody got called up actually that's technically not true because my player 
was I placed him on the major league roster to start the thing, start the entire season, start the spring training really, and then he got optioned down. So technically that's not true, but in free agency, and I mean like actual free agency, like you know in off seasons free agency, only nine jo only nine players were ever signed. Nine. There were a lot more players, including some of the players that were not drafted. And some of the guys that were initially already in the free agency pool to start this experiment, nine, nine players across the league, nine. That is absolutely unacceptable. Matter of fact, I'll show you the free agency pool right now. The highest rated player is 75. The lowest rated player that is not a Joe Random is... Let me see, last time I saw it was 39 when I showed you guys the beginning of this. It'd probably be about that same number, if not lower, like 36. 34. Keith Giordano is the worst, worst quote-unquote actual player. Everybody else is a Joe Random. I don't know what to say. But we'll, I'm going to continue to show you the other years as we go along once I actually sim to it. Instead of showing you guys the roster year by year, I'm just going to show you what I put out in far, as far as uh, the information that I got in terms of how many draft picks, contracts given, the retirees, how many of those uh, draft picks, what percentage of the draft picks that they had did they actually give contracts to, the number of call-ups in the league uh, that weren't Joe Randoms, the number of Joe Randoms in the organization after all of the free agents are signed and how many free agents are actually signed for each team the link will be down in the description or it, probably in the pinned comment either or um, initially i had the idea of doing this over the course of 10 years um, as you can see year one there were 26 2640 joe randoms in on mlb rosters whether that be major league triple a double a or single a um, again i was going to do 10 years, this is tedious. I, I couldn't do it. Five years was, was going to be, um, I had to tap out. Um, as you can see, over, let me see, over one year, eh, the number of draft picks to get, get more contracts goes up a little bit. Um, in 2022, the Arizona Diamondbacks don't sign a single one of their draftees. I don't know any team that's ever done that in the history, but yeah. Anyways, um, there were more call ups in 2022 uh, 45 in total again ones that did not include joe random so you saw a lot of those rookies or guys that were signed in the offseason um, guys that just happened to be sitting in the free agent at the initial start of this ended up on teams rosters uh, the total number of joe randoms within the organization by the end of by basically the beginning of the 2023 season was almost 2500 you would think that you know, the teams would have started to phase a lot of these guys out. They're terrible. I get that they got service time, but and I know that they're cheap, but you can get other guys that are out there cheap as well. Um, number of free agents that were signed, only 24 throughout the entire league, 12 of which went to the Kansas City Royals. We moved to 2023, and 84.5% of the draft picks end up getting a contract by the end of the season. Nobody was called up. I don't even know how that was possible, but nobody was called up at all. Um, we're now down to almost 2,000 Joe Randoms in the league. Um, and 241 free agents are signed, including what is this, 13 from the Mets, 13 from the Phillies. So I guess teams are starting to realize that the talent is out there. We just got to put them out there. That's all. Moving to 2024, 92.54% of the draft picks are given contracts, 10 call-ups. We're now down to almost 1,900 Joe Randoms by the end of that offseason, uh, and 113 free agents signed. Again, there are a lot of guys out there. You would think, again, that we would get more and more and more guys out of, more and more Joe Randoms out of the league as the retirees tend to be a little bit more than the contracts given in just about every year. And then we jump to the final year where 
91.5% are actually given contracts to draft picks. That is, Joe Random's, uh, sorry, non-Joe Random call-ups are up to 34, and we're at 1,700 Joe Randoms in the league. Um, and 120 free agents. Now, I can continue this as this very next offseason, 2026, will be the first year, pretty much first year any of the Joe Randoms that were initially on a roster can become free agents. So we'll see if they get new deals or anything of that nature. Um, as we flesh this out five more years, I'll get back to this at some point. Again, the pin comment down below will have the link to this Google file, Google Drive file. Um, you can look at it. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Peace out.